Assalamualaikum and hi. We are student 5-5 Diploma in Pharmacy from UITM Pulau Pinang Campus Pertam. These are our group members and currently we are performing our practical training in Hospital Sultan Hanur Zahirah, Kuala Terengganu. Here we would like to present about Operation Pharmacy Departments which consists of Pharmacy Clinic Pakar, Value Added Services, Pharmacy Jabatan Pesakit Luar, Emergency Departments and Secretary Pharmacy. Hi, I am Amira. I'm going to share with you about uh, Pharmacy Clinic PACA or in HSNZ we call it SACC. Every practical student will attach at SACC for 3 weeks. Working hours in SACC are from 7.30 am to 5.30 pm on Sunday to Wednesday and 7.30 am to 4 pm on Thursday. SEC is the pharmacy that supplies medication to outpatients who are receiving the treatment at the hospital. For your information, some medications for chronic disease are only available in SEC, such as Novorepid and Novomix. Here are the workflow in SEC. First of all, uh, the patients will give their prescription to the over-the-counter pharmacies and they will get uh, a number and wait for the attend to take the medication. There are two types of uh, prescription, manual prescription and printed prescription from HIS Health Information System. Each prescription uh, will be screened by the pharmacies uh, and they will check uh, in terms of the patient's age, medication dose and diagnosis. If there is an error in the prescription, uh, the pharmacist will call the doctor for the confirmation and they will correct and verify the prescription. Once the prescription uh, got verified by the pharmacist, pharmacist assistant or practical students will fill the medication according to the prescription. Just want to inform you that a patient's waiting time is not more than 30 minutes. So we need to fill the medication within that period of time. And kindly remember that we must avoid the medication error. When we fill uh, the medication, uh, we tend to make mistakes such as giving the wrong amount of uh, the medication. So, uh, we must calculate the dose of the drug correctly before giving it to the patient. There are also some medications that should be recorded for its use such as dangerous drug or we call it STD and controlled medicine. Uh, DD usually are uh, uh, being handled by the pharmacies. should be labeled so that the patients know the amount of uh, medication to be taken each day. Before dispense the medicine to the patient, uh, the pharmacist will check the medication once again so that there is no error. They will check the expiration date and amount of medication supplied. Once uh, everything is confirmed correctly, the pharmacist on duty will dispense the medication to the patient. Aside from the filling process, we as a practical student also need to help uh, the pharmacist assistant to restock the medication and make sure that uh, the stock are always uh, sufficient to give to the patient. That's all about ICC. I will end my part here and we will proceed to VAS. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Saiful Idlan bin Muhammad Saidi. I am part 5 student diploma in pharmacy from UITM Cawangan Pulau Pinang Campus Bertak. So as you know, we all have been through some practical life in Hospital Sultan Anwar Zahir in Kuala Terengganu. And now I'm going to explain and give some advice for VAS segment. So, VAS is a short form from the word value added service. It aims to improve the quality of delivery of pharmaceutical service to patients. Basically, patients can choose several options to get follow-up supplies easily suitable with the patient demand and condition. So, this is a banner at ambulatory care center at our hospital, Hospital Sultanah Nur Zahira. 
as you can see, these seven choices is available and patient can freely choose their own way to get the continuing medical supplies. And this is bus counter at Hospital Sultan Anu Zahirah where patient can either ask or register bus. Here, we show to you a variety of bus cards with all and different colors for different service to avoid confusion and error. Integrated Drug Dispensing System it is a uniform reference system between the original pharmacy and the patient's preferred pharmacy close to the patient resident for their follow-up medication. It can save patient travel costs and time to get a supply of follow-up medication on a monthly basis and can increase their compliance. Appointment system. It is an alternative to the dispensing system where patient can use mediums such as telephone, SMS, email, fax, and even appointment cards to inform the appointment date to the pharmacy to obtain their follow-up medication supply. Patient medication will be provided at least a few days before the appointment date. Patients do not have to wait long to get their medicine, which in turn saves waiting time and reduces congestion in the waiting room of the pharmacy, especially during peak hour. Drug service through One Malaysia Post it is a delivery service for the supply of follow-up medicine to patient prefer address throughout Malaysia with minimal delivery charges. This service is offered to patients who comply with the criteria set by the pharmacy. drive through Pharmacy It is a special facilities or separate counters outside the pharmacy for patient follow-up medication. Patients do not have to wait long because medicine is available after making an appointment with the pharmacy. On the day of the appointment, Patients only need to get a supply of medicine by driving without having to face the problem of finding of a parking place. So, in bus or in any department you are working, I must advise communication is important. Always ask when you are curious or uncertain. Next, socializing with other people too. Be an outro, be an extrovert, not antisocial. Then you have to be hardworking. Always work for your knowledge. And lastly, that I can say is to be a thinker. It means give something a wise thought before doing something. Consider the pros and cons. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christina. Next, Jabatan Pesakit Luar Pharmacy or we call it as JPL Pharmacy. GPL Pharmacy is another part of outpatient department in Hospital Sultan Hanu Zahira. Our training duration in GPL Pharmacy is 2 weeks. The operation hour start from 7.30 am to 5.30 pm. Usually, patients come to GPL Pharmacy to continue their medication or for new patients. At GPL Pharmacy, we will Filling and labeling the medication according to the prescription that has been verified by pharmacies. Restore the medication when the stock runs out. And checking the temperature of the room as well as refrigerator every 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Apart from that, JPL Pharmacy also controls drive through pharmacy which is a part of bus value added service. However, patients must register first at SEC Pharmacy or Pharmacy Clinic Pakar in order to take their medication through drive through For prescription under drive through Pharmacy, we will filling and labeling the medication at least one week early from the actual date of the pickup. Assalamualaikum. My name is Sharifa Noalia and I will continue with the emergency department or we can call as ED in short. So, the students will have their training in emergency department for two weeks. In Hospital Sultana no Zahira, the emergency department is the only pharmacy unit that operate for 24 hours. The service that they provided included for non-critical patient, semi-critical patient and critical patient. They are also responsible for supplying medication to the patient that are discharged after working hours and weekends. As a student, there are several duties that we need to do every day. 
Firstly, we need to check and record the room and refrigerator temperature twice daily every 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. As an extra reminder, the normal range for the refrigerator temperature is between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and it is crucial to maintain those range. If you notice the refrigerator temperature goes beyond or below the supposed normal range, you need to immediately inform the pharmacy technician to, for, for further action. Next, we, we also need to prepare the drug in them for the flow store and emergency trolley every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We also need to check and restocking the drugs in the cabinet if it is below the supposed minimum quantity. And lastly, we can also assist the staff by giving the patient waiting number. There are several confirmations that you need to do before giving the patient's number. Firstly, we need to confirm the patient's names, their drug allergy, and the doctor's room they have gone to. In addition, there are several interesting facts about emergency department that differentiate it from other departments. Firstly, the drug in emergency department must always in stock as it is the only pharmacy department that operates after working hours. And secondly, uh, as most patients in emergency department require fast action drug to recover, there are many drugs in injection form in ED. And lastly, emergency department is the only pharmacy unit that has additional drug for emergency use, such as venom antiserum for snake biting, rabies antidote, and n for paracetamol poisoning. That's all from me for emergency department. Next, we will proceed with the psychiatric pharmacy. Thank you. My name is Nur Akila. Today, I would like to share my internship experience at Outpatient Department Hospital Sultan Anu Sahira, Kuala Terengganu. The last part of Outpatient Department is Psychiatric Pharmacy or also known as PSY. Let me tell you some facts about PSY. Our training duration is to week. PSY operation hour is from 7.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. There are manual prescription and printed prescription from Health Information System, HIS, that are available in the pharmacy. PSY supply medication for both inpatient and also outpatients. The number of outpatients increase starting from 9 a.m. to collect their medication. DD dangerous drug is common drug that prescribed by PSY such as antipsychotic. Pharmacy assistant, there are some tasks that we need to be responsible such as restocking the medication based on first in first out system to make sure they are always available for inpatient. We will prepare flow stock and also emergency trolley preparing inpatient trolley according to the schedule prepared providing patients with number and ask them to wait for their turns and lastly filling the prescription and label the medication correctly that's one tips that i one tip that i would like to share with you which we need to take extra careful and always double check for the drugs name and drug strength because there are some drugs that are look alike and sound alike which tend to medications error. Here there are some pictures of PSY that you can enjoy. That's all from me. Thank you. As the conclusion, there are do and don't that we would like to share with you. We hope that we ease your practical journey. For those, first, be humble and respect other criticisms and opinions. Second, be alert to common and careless mistakes. Lastly, be punctual towards. Then, don't be shy to ask questions if you have doubt. Don't be afraid to make mistakes as you learn from it. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.